to a true socialist republic. Elizabeth Warren sharing her authentic Native American recipes. And Kamala Harris is for arresting people. If these sound strange or out of character for these candidates, they are. These four sites sure look real with snappy graphics and real campaign photos of the candidates, but they're the perfect example of how looks can deceive because they're all fake. We know because they have .info or .co in their names instead of .com or .org. And scroll to the bottom of all of them and you'll see a message, quote, this site is a political commentary and parody, and they're made, quote, by an American citizen for an American citizen. So yeah, these sites are fake. We're showing them to you because they're remarkably close to the real sites, and it's not hard to miss one letter and go to berniesanders.co instead of berniesanders.com. As the 2020 election campaigns continue, it is so important to get facts right. So if you're looking at a candidate's page, make sure you check the top so the address is right and check the bottom of the page to make sure there aren't any messages like this one. Got any questions for us to verify? Send us an email. With your Verify, I'm Jason Puckett. People living in part of South America woke up to this. It is a total solar ellipse. It happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, making everything go dark. It is incredibly rare. Chile and Argentina were the best spots to catch the ellipse. Eclipse. Eclipse. Yes. I'm sorry. It's okay. I have the ellipse on the brain, brain. I think, 4th of do. July, that kind of thing. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous phenomenon. We had one almost total a few mm -hmm. years ago, which we was did. really kind of cool. Kind of eerie, kind of cool. All right, we had some big storms today, and we're kind of worried about this repeating itself. And we'll show you some video. I mean, they had a heavy rain. They had high winds. A lot of trees were down. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of folks were without power in Montgomery County. And this is some time-lapse uh, video. And check this out. They had rainfall rates over two inches per hour. This is by Alexandria and then about uh, close to a national airport. Look at the, look at the uh, clouds wow. come in, the wall cloud come in. And winds gusted up to 80 miles an hour. Now, this is over from Shadyside, Shadyside, Maryland. I know it looks like a funnel. I don't think that is a, a real funnel cloud. There just wasn't that much shear or rotation with these. There what, was straight line winds. It? It's just a little, it's kind of a little skinny scud cloud, I think, because oh, okay. the whole thing has to be rotating. Still a very ominous cloud and still a pretty big storm, uh, no doubt. But when it rolled through Shadyside, there was not even a severe thunderstorm warning. They canceled them. But after all storms comes a rainbow. This is also from Shadyside. Uh, Mr. James Hash sent that in. Disclosure, he works here so you can take pretty good pictures. All right, camp forecast. Uh, it's going to be hot, and again, by the time the kids get home, some showers and storms will be possible. Uh, 78 to start, that's muggy. 85 by mid-morning, 91 by lunchtime, and 93 by evening. And it's going to be very close to 4 or 5 o'clock when another round of showers and storms roll through here. So we had to issue another yellow weather alert for Wednesday. Didn't want to do it, but I think we're going to have to. A lot of folks are traveling tomorrow and it's going to be uh, impacting the uh, travel. Temperature-wise, here we go. Well, in temperatures in the 90s for a while. 95 tomorrow, excuse me, 95 today, 93 on Wednesday, 90 on Thursday, 93 Friday, and 94 on Saturday. So we had one respite <laughs> yesterday. July started out nice, and now it's back to summer. All right, here's an hour by hour of the 4th of July. And it may not be quite as dismal as this, but this gives you an idea why we're so worried. 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You can take it on to 1 a.m. if you want. Chance for showers and storms. So we always have storms, and we have uh, an article on our, uh, our website, WSA9.com, and also on our uh, app, where we talk about, yes, we're used to showers and storms uh, over the holiday weekend, but we're not used to that many. So that's why we're so concerned. The beach is fantastic, though. 80s across the board on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. A couple showers possible by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, but you'll still get a, a beach day in. So that's kind of a cool place to be. Our weekend forecast, not so cool. <laughs> 94 on Saturday, scattered storms. 90 on Sunday, scattered storms. We'll have to monitor Friday, Saturday, and Sunday also for yellow weather alerts. In the meantime, hot and humid tomorrow, Thursday, Friday afternoon storms. Numerous on the 4th, yellow weather alert for both the 4th and Wednesday. And some storms will be strong, a few could be severe and it continues over the weekend. Tomorrow morning, we're fine. May have a little patchy fog. Mr. Bernstein will take care of that, but we're in the 80s by mid-morning. We're near 90 by lunchtime, and there come the next round of showers and storms right in time for the evening commute, right in time when people, folks are trying to get out of town for the holidays. So yellow weather alert tomorrow, Thursday, 93 on Friday, afternoon storms. We'll monitor that for a yellow weather alert. Saturday, more storms, some storms on Sunday. Now